What's Hello. up, Danny? Hello, everyone. Uh, hey. Heather, Hi, Danny. Norman, and Eric. Hello. I'm so excited Hi. to talk to all of you. I'm Thank you. thrilled about the reboot. And Heather, I got to say, I was re-watching with my boyfriend the first few episodes last night, and we were cracking up at the dog when, you, when you're chasing after the dog in the pilot. Danny, you got to stop playing and bringing that up on the first conversation <laughs> we have. That's right like now. the funniest <laughs> moment on the whole show. <laughs> it is. I, that that dog so dragged my ass right down the street. <laughs> <laughs> Literal that tears. That eyes. is so is so funny. <laughs> uh, uh, Becky, uh, starting with you, how was it reuniting with all of these people? What was that like? Well, I was so excited to see everybody. I mean, I'd stay in, in touch with um, more with some more than others, you know. And uh, but I'd see everyone kind of over the years here and there. And um, and I was well, I was very nervous, actually, to go because so much life has passed, you know, 30 years. And even though we all have this bond, you know, that's kind of what drew us back and, and, and many other things. But when we got there, I, it was a it was a very interesting feeling to be back in the loft with these people. It was almost like time travel. And yet we were here, we were a little older and wiser. And then as sort of things progress, you realize, wow, you know, I've really individuated as an adult and I relate differently to people now. And I relate to them now differently than when I was 22, 23, which is healthy. It's how it should be. We are, we grow into, you know, adults and different people. So it becomes, you know, a different dynamic. But I think who we are essentially, you know, is who we essentially are is really the same. Norman, did you feel like you guys sort of fell into the same chemistry you had before? Exactly. It was like like going on like Fantasy Island because like the smell of the room and the sound <laughs> of the floor and the sound of everybody's voices. I'd catch myself upstairs coming out of the bathroom and I would hear like the voices and I, I wasn't sure if I was in 1992 or if I was, <laughs> you know, in today. And it was... I don't know. I can't explain anything that's real. Like, I, I can't believe it. Like, I don't know if anyone would ever get the chance to have something reconstructed in their life and then to go back into that. I mean, it cost probably a pretty penny to put everything together to make oh, that. Yeah. Happen. It's, it's, it's yeah. surreal. like a time I mean, machine. Cool. It was like going into a time machine. machine. Yeah. And I just lived it up every moment we had in the loft and we just exploded. It was so great. And everyone's personalities are so magnetic that you just go like, I can see why all of these people are like, you know, on television and they're, you know, they're just, they just radiate. It's so funny. We're very ensemble, the seven of us. Uh, Heather, I want to ask you, how, do, how did life change for you after that season uh, back in the 90s? Like, how did it change for you? Wow. Life literally. Oh, so as you know, Danny, we were all involved in the arts in some way, shape, form of fashion. But I think being able to walk down the street and have that instant name and face recognition is not something anybody could prepare you for. Like I'll be a hundred with you. Like I was one of those kids that practiced my autograph signing, you know, as a kid. Cause I was like, I'm going to be famous one day. So let me practice <laughs> my autograph. I used to be in the mirror with the microphone, but to actually have this thing manifest for you and have that, and then have this connection to Becky and Norman's point with six people that you get to know for the rest of your life is kind of crazy. Like you just can't imagine whatever you think fame is once it actually happens for you, it's beyond anything that you can really imagine. And it's better in some ways. And in a lot of ways, it's not something that you ever prepared for. Right. You know, speaking of fame, Eric, you went on after the real world. Dude. I, I remember you from the grind and uh, you know, you went on and did so much. And I was actually on your website last night as I was uh, preparing for this. And I was reading, uh, you have a lot about your life on there. And you had mentioned uh, at one point, possibly being involved with Batman Forever with Joel Schumacher as Robin. Was <laughs> Can you talk a little bit about that? If, did wow, How close was new. that? I want to hear too. <laughs> how close to fruition was that? Um. Yeah, well, I was... Um... Oh, that's funny that you uh, you asked that question. <laughs> so the way that that happened was I moved to I moved to LA and I was getting into acting and I was taking acting classes. I had an agent 
And I got a time in New York City and I he would see me on the street and he invited me to come into his office and wanted to know how serious I was about acting. And I said, well, I'm taking acting classes and I'm, I am interested. He said, well, I have a role uh, for you that I would like uh, to potentially cast you for. And I said, OK. And I was like, well, what is it? And he said, it's Robin in the Batman movie. And so me and my brother got a camera, little VHS, and went into a park in the middle of San Francisco and acted out a scene <laughs> together. And then um, and I went back to his office. I had two meetings with him and we developed a friendship. And he actually said to me, you know, I really want to cast you as Robin, but I can't. And this is a true story. We can't. I can't um, cast you as him because Val Kilmer has already signed on as Batman. And we went to Val Kilmer's people to let them know that he wanted to cast you for Robin. And they said, no, they wow. were afraid that I was going to upstage Val Kilmer. You better uh, upstage, so, baby. That's right. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> Shine that light. I thought yeah. you didn't. Have, I, I, thought, I thought it's because you couldn't fit the suit. I was going to say, y'all know how it is being a thick girl. You know, I thought they wasn't going to let you fit in them leotards, baby. <laughs> no, Eric, they know, wouldn't have had to make those rubber abs for Eric. Yeah, Eric, you would have looked great in a leotard. Yes. Eric, yeah, you they wouldn't have had to do no, the rubber Eric is nobody's <laughs> sidekick. Well, I mean, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a gay man. I mean, I grew up, Eric, you were like everything to uh, us you know like <laughs> my generation <laughs> my generation of of closeted gay man eric you were just like the hottest um well uh, i have some amazing stories <laughs> to talk about with um the amazing gay community because they really everybody embraced me and all of my mm -hmm. friends in new york and i mean it's just been such an incredible ride so much fun dancing in the clubs in the city. Yes. Um, yeah, it's just been a magical roller coaster ride and so beautiful on so many levels. Uh, I want to ask you all, they're doing this OG challenge reboot. And I wonder, I know some of you have done the challenges before, but is there any chance you will either be on that OG challenge or you'd go back to a challenge uh, at some point? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I was actually invited to do that OG challenge, Becky's and it didn't, it didn't work out. The timing, so yeah. uh, because of because of what we were doing here. So, yeah. but yes, I would definitely go back. And I love the challenges. I love competition. I love anything athletic. It's it's so much fun for me to do those things. So yeah, the answer is yes. Danny, when you print this question, just make sure you write Heather sips wine. Yeah, That's okay. it. <laughs> <laughs> but Heather, That's I want to see I want to see you most on the challenge. I personally <laughs> love when I, I want all of the OGs for all of these casts. Like I want to see you guys on TV forever. So like I'm not ready Thank to you. let you guys go after this reboot. <laughs> I want to see uh you know, we got to get you back in that house after this season. Like can we get more? We're not going anywhere. We are in your life forever. <laughs> <laughs> Have you figured that out yet? <laughs> your eyes are going to pop out of your head when you see this series. For real. Yeah. You ain't ready, wait. Danny. You ain't ready. <laughs> uh, I can't wait. You uh, ain't. Nope. <laughs> I have to wrap this up, but I just want to say thank you. You're all reality you. TV pioneers, and uh, it's you. such a delight. And I'm so thrilled that MTV is doing this. I hope we get this Us done too. with all of the original series, but we're starting with the best. So thank you all. Uh, so thank much. you, Danny. Thank That's you. so nice to say. Thank, thank you, Bo. Thank you, guys. Andre, Kevin, Julie, I'm so happy to be speaking with you guys. Uh, thank congrats you. on the reboot. What's thank it you. like, Kevin, getting back together with this whole group? This has been surreal, incredible. Uh, we didn't believe it when we first got the call and then we consulted with each other. And, you know, keep in mind, we've been connected for the last couple of years on a text thread and a lot of folks didn't know about it. It was just for us because it's, you know, this is a family, you know, and we have an experience that no one else can say. We were in the very first season of the very first reality TV show, which makes us uh, pioneers, we now realize, in this whole genre of TV. Yeah. And Andre, I'm sort of curious, going back in time a little bit, what was it like after that first season aired? How 
How was your world different after that season? Well, uh, yeah, it was, uh, you know, a crazy experience. And, uh, you know, I was always trying to angle it to further my musical career. And uh, it gave us, you know, massive exposure. Um, and we got to, you know, tour the country extensively and release records. And, um, you know, it was, uh, uh, it was, it was great. It was a, a wonderful um a wonderful uh, a way to get, you know, to, to get out there and, and, uh, uh, you know, show, show the world, you know, my music and, and all of that. It was so fascinating to me. My boyfriend and I were rewatching the first few episodes last night uh, mm. to prepare for this. And, and there were a lot of laughs and a lot of interesting conversations about things like race that I feel like we're all still having now and, yeah. and seeing that play out on reality TV. Uh, Julie, I'm curious, uh, how do you think things were, were different this time around when, you, uh, when it came to uh, relating with the roommates? How are things different? Um... Yeah, how are they different and how are they the same? You know, you know how things are different is that we now have this history together and we have so much to kind of um, reflect back on and um, experiences I think that we still all want to have together. And so also, you know, you took away all of the getting to know one another. And we go, sometimes I think it's disappointing to people because we go back to same page, same very quickly. You know, we hit the ground running when we're together. And I think um, the other thing that was amazing about this opportunity, there was usually when we do something like this, it's really fast and it'll be a quick interview and we get to see each other really quickly. And so we have to kind of milk it for as much as we can. And this we got to enjoy. We could, you know, I could go to sleep and know I was going to wake up and see them, you know, yeah. and, and every conversation didn't have to just be milk to death because we could revisit it the next day and having that kind of freedom made it so much more enjoyable for me. So I'm curious, how long were you guys back in the house for? Seven days. A week. Okay. Yeah. Seven. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, and Kevin, were you uh, hesitant at all to do this again? Or were you someone who was like, I'm going to sign on right away? <laughs> I had a lot of emotions, you know, but I don't have any regrets doing it the first time nor the second time because it's one of those unique experiences. And we've had this great platform. And, you know, you asked the question a moment ago about these, these deep topics. Yep. Race, racism. Yep. I mean, the fact that you just casually mentioned your boyfriend, the fact that Norman, you know, oh, first openly gay character on American TV, other than, you know, Lance from American Family, but Lance came out afterwards, Norman came into it. And so in a lot of ways, we pioneered conversations, even, I believe, you know, that wouldn't have existed without that first season of the real world, which I think makes it very important. And then I was just shocked that we were in the same place again. We got the same loft, which was a miracle. And I was, because the first time we uh, did it, I remember feeling like I had won a prize on the prices Right or something like that. This is incredible to live in something like this. Like who gets this as a 20 something? Yeah. You know, the real world in general has pioneered so much. And and as a gay man, it was the first place I ever remember seeing representation on television. And, That's and right. you mentioned uh, American life, but uh, the real world for me and for, for my generation, it was was everything. And and I, I always I often wonder, like, do the cast are the cast members able to grasp how important that is? Yeah. Andre, do you feel? I like think I think that you know um, uh, we're 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 given the chance to reflect on it now, and that uh, certainly um, uh, I think that you know uh, it, it having having the opportunity to see this through other people's eyes and and uh, uh, it, it does it does uh, um, reinforce the fact that you know it is really important to a lot of people. You know, and, you know, it's it's also easy from our perspective to think about it like, well, this was just, you know, 13 weeks um, when we were in our early 20s or late teens in, in Julie's case. You know, um, think about if, if you can just put that into your own life. Um, what were you doing, um, you know, when you were 20 years old for a random 13 weeks out of your life? And then you know, talk about that for the next 30 years. Um, it's a, it's a, it's, it's just a crazy, uh, it's, it's really a, a bizarre, um, 
uh, uh, experience to, to, you know, have that sort of hyper focus on such a short time of your life, but for it to mean so much to so many people, it's actually wonderful. And, uh, I, I feel really, you know, lucky and, and blessed to be a, a part of that. Thanks. So Julie, what do we have to look forward to in this season? What, what can we, what, can, what are we going to see? You are going to have so much fun. You're, I guess you're going to laugh, <laughs> you're going to cry, you're going to do all the things, but you know, I'm sure I'm not allowed, not allowed to tell you a lot. There are some surprises. Um, what are you going to see? Um, I can't wait. I mean, I, I, it's a, I mean, it's a lot. We, um, we clocked in, we went to work. <laughs> I mean, we got yeah, down we to did. <laughs> Kevin's like, we did. Oh my God. So uh, Kevin, uh, can we see, will we get to see more of you beyond this? Like, is there a world where we can do this next year, five years down the road? Like, uh, is, you is know that what's funny? something? Yes. You know what's and fun- if, if you get a good location. <laughs> <laughs> Fiji <laughs> Islands. Fiji <laughs> Islands. I'd watch Italy. you guys go on vacation. Let's watch yeah, you go well, on a vacation. We love to see each other. So I think that's never like the problem. You, you know what's great about that question, Danny? Because, you know, it came up during our, our reunion episodes, as you will see. It's like, you know, imagine if we would have done multiple seasons of our season, of our cast, how incredible that could have been. You know, but back then there wasn't even a thought. It was like, you know, years later you would see, you know, Paris Hilton with multiple seasons, the Kardashians, et cetera. Um, um, what are you going to see us as adults and the evolution of all of us, you know, and, and you're going to see, you know, different layers of conversations and, and, and people sharing some of the things they've been through since 1992, which is really powerful, you know, and I, I don't want to give it away, as Julie said, but I think that people are going to be in for some really, really laugh there's a lot of laughter and some tears and definitely a lot of emotions a lot of beautiful emotions well i was that is the thing that we i guess that is unique to us um because we do have this close relationship and there's not a lot of um having to renew our friendship or get to know each other again we really i guess maybe that's why we can get down to the nitty-gritty quickly yeah uh were there ever any romances after the season between you guys i mean seven of us it, the seven of you guys after you left the house, no Not romances. My it was just friends. Yeah, but we probably should have said yes just to. <laughs> <laughs> we, I love that little dog. You, hey, that hey, little dog. Have, <laughs> Danny, you have um, Eric and Heather after us. I just well, I just did them. I just oh, you just did I them. I just did oh. them. And let me tell you something. Eric has had a journey. I was like on his website last night, and there he was telling me he was almost cast in Batman as Robin. And there's been a a lot of stuff. But I yeah. remember I, rewatching those early episodes, Julie. I remember really wanting you and Eric to be a thing. Everybody did, or people thought you two were. They thought it. We're like, yeah, that's we not it. what happened. The magic of <laughs> editing. Right? <laughs> and we were very fond of each other and still are, you know, we still right. have a really strong fondness for one another. And I think he and I will always really care for one another. And, um, and I will say, I think we both felt that pressure kind of going in and, and knew that that probably wouldn't be a thing, but we did both enjoy. Um, we knew if we got close to one another, and just kind of started talking quietly that the cameras would zoom in and we could make everyone really, you know, rush around. And that. we did enjoy doing that together. Nowadays on reality TV, they do way more than that for, oh, you, yeah. you know, now I it's heard, a different, so I've heard. different ball game. We're um, like, we're, like, we were like, we, when I saw other reality TV shows, I was like, oh, wow, that's how they, how they get down. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I have to wrap this up, but quickly, I know they're doing the OG, uh, challenge and i'm curious if anyone uh, any three of you would go back to the challenge in any capacity because i love seeing when the ogs go back to the challenge i am oh. not big on the challenge situation right. only if it was my only if it was all seven of us that you know i i, I there's an idea would do a way, uh you know the, like the battle of the network stars kind of thing you know <laughs> yes uh, yes uh, the seven of us uh you yeah. know against the uh seven season three or something i don't know but uh, but right. uh you know I, I i wouldn't really want to be part of a of a you know mixture of other uh casts we're together like this is right. like we we respect all the other seasons but we realize that this is a very unique thing that we have and so yeah 
Yeah. Well, I really hope I have to wrap this up that I can see you guys again in some capacity. I mean, I haven't even seen this series and I'm already like, okay, we, what's the next thing we're doing with these guys? Cause I, I think it's great to grow with you. And, and again, I want to thank you all for just being such pioneers in reality TV and really opening um, up so many eyes, so many ears. And, and I, I really, not to sound cheesy, I think uh, what you guys offered the world at that time is, is more important than, maybe anyone can realize if that makes sense. Danny, thank you for what you said about Norman, because that means a lot because, you know, we didn't know, but to see that someone like you and some, so many of you have said the impact that one of us had. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, All of you guys. Thank you so much. And, and congrats on the series. Appreciate it. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. You too. Nice to meet you. What a delight. Thank you guys.